We've just finished a major update to Dextrous, but what does this mean for you? Let me take you through a project before and after the upgrade, just to make sure that you understand the new changes that we've made. So over here in this project, I have these tokens and they are using a common back, so that's a layout back, and they're using this brown circle as a back. Um, and you can see the brown circle preview there of the backs. So I've got one layout back. I've got another set of cards here. These are my character cards and they are using unique backs and they actually have different backs for each card. The important thing to note here is that this is a component, this character's set of cards, and the way that we got the unique backs was actually by making another component, and it's called the character's backs here, and I've actually set this one to be on the back of this one. When we first um, started making Dextrous, we thought it'd be really cool if you could link different components to be the backs of other components. Sounded like a good idea at the time, but what we found is that it's not that intuitive. And in the new system, we've made some changes so that it's easier to work with. So let me show you how that looks. When you open up an old project now, Dextrous will upgrade it to the new system. And the first time you open up a project, it's going to be slow because we're upgrading a lot of things in the background to the new system. And it's the same for components, by the way. Um, you'll notice that if you open up a component for the first time, it's going to be slow because it's updating in the background. But after that, you'll notice things should be a lot snappier, particularly if you have a big project. The biggest difference you'll notice straight away is that the component tabs are on the side. And importantly, each component now has its own dedicated back, which should be a lot more intuitive overall. Now, here's the important bit. If a component had a unique card back, like my characters here, we've actually copied that back component and put it here as the back. So this is a component itself. This is what was an old component, right? And we've actually like glued it to the back just like a normal back on a normal card. So what you'll see is if I am on the front here and if I click this, I go to the back and you can actually see the preview here on the other side. And this is the preview of my um, unique backs there. Note that I still have my original back component here. So this component, which is the back, which was my old backs, right, is now here on the back as well, kind of where it should be, if that makes sense. So we've actually got duplicated data here. Why have we done it this way? We couldn't just delete these ones because we don't know how people have set up their components. And it's possible that somebody wanted to print their back component as a front, but also use it for the as the back of another component, for example. So we've done the safer thing and just left them as a separate component as well, just in case you wanted to do something special with it. In my case, I only wanted this component to be the back of this one. So I can actually go ahead and just delete that component entirely and clean up my project, which is great, right? So if you get in here to the new project editor and you're thinking, hold on, I've got duplicates. I've got a back here and the same back here. That is actually exactly what's going on. And if I were you, I double and triple check that each of your components has the correct back set, and then I'll just delete any excess duplicate um, data there. Please do be careful with that. Um, be really careful, please. We've got a new video on how the backs work, so make sure to check that out. And we've also got a what's new video, so you can watch that too. Other than that, you should find all the same functions here in the component editor, as well as a few cool new features. Thanks.